Welcome back, welcome back. This is activity two and the name of activity two is IT service catalog. A catalog is a list of things. Think of the old Argos catalogs. I don't know how old you guys are, but this stopped a few years ago. But think of a catalog as simply um, a collection of items, a collection of things. So typically when you're trying to buy something from Amazon, let's say Amazon has a catalog. So when you go into Amazon and type in gaming laptop, you're, you're going to see everything that Amazon sells on gaming laptops. That's their catalog. That's the stuff that they sell on that topic, on that subject, on that specific category or area. This will be a list of things needed. So we're going to speak about the things that this company needs. And I put things obviously in there. Things can be hardware or software. So hardware, again, I'm going to try and give as much context as I can when reading through. Hardware are the tangible parts of a computer system. So I'm using my mouse to move around now on screen. I'm, I'm using my keyboard to skip back and forth. I'm using my touchpad. I'm, I'm touching my screen, even though it's not touchscreen. I'm, I'm wearing my headphones with my microphone attached. I'm picking up my phone right now. All those things are hardware devices. Now we have software as well. And software runs on hardware. Software tells the hardware what to do. Software is essentially zeros and ones made up in code to give instructions to the hardware. So if I so if there was no software installed that to tell the mouse to move left and right, left and right, up and down, up and down, it wouldn't do anything. So the software is what runs in the background on the hardware telling it what it needs to do. So when I move my mouse left to right now, it's just moving the cursor. If I click on my mouse and I move it left to right, it not only writes, um, but it writes in red. And I've decided it's red. I can choose here. I can choose a different color. This is all being done in software. So IT service catalog, this is the main reason you are allowed to do research. So remember, you're allowed to take into the exam two pages or a single uh, leaf of A4 page back and front. Here, you will need to be specific with the hardware and software name. So the things that you choose. So let's just say you're a door-to-door -door salesman. Uh, your company gives you a mobile phone maybe choose the phone i have i know my phone pretty well i know the all the capabilities of it so i'm going to say this person this company would be good to have a motorola g200 it's a top of the range smartphone for about 300 pounds so not the 1000 pounds that samsung offers or the 1500 pounds that apple offers and the performance is very very good battery lasts a day and a half two days so on and so forth so we need to speak about the hardware and software so i would say moto motorola g200 and I would try to maybe not give the full details of the spec, but at least the company that makes it and the model number of that thing the company has decided it is. So that, that way, if somebody else wants to go and find this item, it's very easy. Because if you type into Google now, Motorola G200, you'll find exactly what I'm speaking about. Uh, I gave another example here. If you said a 3D printer was needed, what make and model of 3D printer did you choose and why? Why did you choose that specific one? The Motorola G200, as I mentioned, amazing camera. Um, it has a lot of storage. I think 128 gigs as standard. The battery is huge. It's a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. It lasts me two days. Easy, easy, easy. Um, so we start going into the why we chose this device over other devices. Only put items here that make sense based on the scenario. So again, don't say a Motorola G200 is is the fastest phone that Motorola has and so on and so forth if the scenario doesn't require it. Funnily enough, I love the Motorola brand. I bought my dad a Motorola the other day. I think it was like 120 pounds. This man will never, ever, ever use any of the features on there. Unless I call him on WhatsApp, he will open WhatsApp. Otherwise, he won't. So the scenario for me is that I need to buy my dad a phone. My dad does not need the best of the best. He needs something that has WhatsApp that he can pick up and dial a phone number and that's it. He needs the most basic thing ever. So look at the scenario put in front of you and tailor your tailor your choices to that specific scenario. I'm going to keep repeating this so everyone gets it. And this is what the template looks like for this one. Nothing much here. We have name, candidate number, center number, date, organization. So the function, I'm going to go over all of this. We have function, service name and service description. I'm going to explain all of this. So the features and characteristics of IT services, I will explain this again. This was taken directly from the specification document, which I shared in the previous video in uh, the intro video is called manufacturing of products, supply chain management, marketing and sales, customer relations, resource management, staff recruitment, staff management, support and financials features and characteristics of IT services. So those are the main areas in which IT services are needed for some companies. 
I think nine is way too many, way too much to focus for. And this exam, if you have the time, you can do as many as you want. I would never, ever, ever recommend nine. At max, I would even say four absolute maximum. Pick out the relevant ones for your scenario. If my company is a game development company, I might need manufacturing of products because I make games, my, uh, marketing and sales because I need to market my game. I might put an ad on YouTube. I need somewhere to sell my game. I might sell my game on the Xbox store, the PlayStation store, Steam, support and financial. So I obviously need to su um, provide support, especially on PC where things crash all the time because of different, different hardwares well hardware and the financials we need to know how much money we're spending versus how much we're making so on and so forth now you choose the options the categories that are good for you based on your scenario everything is based on the scenario it's never a clear cut oh i'm going to use these four for everything no based on your scenario so template section so the first part is function service name and service description a PS again, you must be, <laughs> I keep telling you guys this, I know, information must be linked to your scenario. The first thing I explain is function. You can break this down into types of people in the company, right? So um, which one can I use? Let's use the accounting firm. The person who owns the accounting firm is probably going to be an accountant as well. Or, or I think here, actually, I did a store. So let's stick to store, sorry. So the owner of the store is going to be one person the manager of the store and we have store assistants each person will do different things some will have more privileges than others so the owner of the company is most likely going to be able to do whatever they want in the company they can give someone a 99 percent discount the manager can do some things maybe give someone 50 percent discount the assistant can do a little less than the manager maybe maximum 20 percent discount so we have to tailor, factor these in and the scenario again is going to give us all the information we want. The scenario might tell us the, the owner normally does this, the managers normally do this. But whenever I go over the 2021 paper, this part, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do it as well. So this is the, um, the function. This was taken from a previous, no, this was taken from the examiner's report. Sorry. So this is what they had for the owner. This is what they had for the host. So the owner functions are, so these are the things that the owner has to do. This is given to you in the scenario. So this is not something that's made up or implied. It's given to you in the scenario. So maybe the scenario explained that the, the owner is the one who hires staff, manages staff rotors, um, does marketing for the restaurant, manages and updates the website. It will tell you what the owner does. And it will tell you what the hosts do as well. Meet and greet customers. So this is like the person that's maybe on the shop floor, let's say records um, bookings, records customer bookings and give it to the kitchen, so on and so forth. So again, this is just an example of what can be done. And you can have as many functions as you want based on the amount of people in the company. So we have one owner, we might have, I don't know, 10 hosts, and we might have maybe two managers. And the two managers might take five hosts each as an example. This is just a basic example. Read your scenario, look at what each category of person wants uh, template function again simply put who the person is what they need to be able to do and again for this one we had manager sorry we had owner and we had hosts that's all we had skip forward uh, the service name now after you have identified the person and what they need to do what will they use to carry out the action that's going to be the service name it's a bit weird how they've done it so the hardware the person will need to be able to do the action so how is um the owner going to hire staff typically it's going to be interviewing but how did they even set up the interview process how did they reply to the emails how did they post the job online that's the thing that they're going to need most likely some pc some desktop or laptop pc it could even be a tablet to be fair you decide based on your scenario so uh, manage staff rotors again uh, laptop desktop or tablet or even phone as well based on your scenario so every single thing that the person needs to do we can go through and think hmm what hardware has the person been using and what hardware could they use in the future and in most cases nowadays so most of this stuff is going to be a laptop maybe not even a desktop a laptop you can move around a person can be working on the laptop at home they can quickly run to the restaurant or the shop or wherever sit down and work on the same laptop go for lunch to another restaurant, work on the same laptop. So in my opinion, this might be laptop. Let me read the next one. Uh, this is going to be the hardware the person will need to do the action, software the person will need to do the action as well. So you have the hardware section and you have a software section. 
So let me go back one more. Uh, the hardware that they'll need for this first one might be a PC. What software is going to be needed? Okay, when you think about it, um, when I say PC as well, I, I mean desktop PC with a mouse, with a keyboard, with a monitor and with whatever else it needs. Whereas a laptop, that's all implied. Laptops have everything built in. So that's the hardware that's needed. The software that's needed will be, I'm going to go super deep. I'm going to say Windows 11 operating system. They're going to need some form of um, anti-malware software, firewall included. I'm going over the top here, but it's fine. They might also need um, Google Chrome or any web browser that you like. It doesn't have to be Chrome. It could be Safari. It could be Firefox. It could be uh, whatever Microsoft new one is. They'll also need access to an email client. So even if it's Gmail, which is mostly all online, or even if it's I, iMail or whatever you call it, it's still an email client. It's still software. So mention that as well. Let me keep reading. Okay, so here is an example. All right, they gave us a nice example. So this is the hardware that the manager, sorry, the owner will need. Um, they're going to need a computer with a monitor, keyboard, mouse. Um, for me, I'm going to just say laptop unless they specified it must be a desktop or I'm going to say desktop with monitor, with keyboard, with mouse, so on and so forth. So this is going to be computer right there, that big one there. We, we also have a smartphone to get phone calls. We also have a printer. This is what the hardware they're going to need. The software that the owner will need, Microsoft Office 365. Um, okay, Office 365 already has Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and Access, and uh, email app um, involved. So maybe not that one, but again, if you want to put it, put it. There's no downside. So we have Microsoft Office 365 as software needed. We have Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Access, email server, web server, and file server. I would be careful with these ones because this is very specific to this scenario we can make the assumption that most businesses around the world has some version of an office program the one that we know as people in school teachers um, lecturers students we know microsoft office there are dozens more i like to tell people about wps office completely free looks very much like microsoft office there is also libre office um, there's also another one called Open Office. Uh, there, there are so many of them. There's Kingsoft Office for Android. It doesn't really matter. But these things down here, these are more specific to this scenario. Whereas the top ones here, we can say most companies will make use of this. Next one we have is the template section for service description. Explain why each piece of hardware is needed. P.S. For key um, for desktop, as I mentioned earlier, <clears throat> for desktop computer, I would bundle mouse, monitor, and keyboard as one thing. I wouldn't separate them because it's it's a given that you will need those things. That's why I wouldn't separate them, or I wouldn't even use that um, unless the scenario specified that it needed to be a desktop. I would just go laptop, honestly. All right, so computers will um, be used by the owner to buy business items from retailers, for example read and reply to emails so these are my answers i came up with read and reply to emails create rotors for staff create flyers for promotion create and manage the client and employee databases so on and so forth there are so many points i could add what i would do think of all the bullet points you could add add them and turn them into a mini paragraph maybe three four sentences that's it done again i'm going to show you what this looks like when i get to that section and that's it hopefully that was useful thank you for watching and good luck